Now, what was really interesting for the county was Butler County never, never had the state tournament. And it would, a lot of times it would go like east to west. One year it would be the eastern part of sure. the state. Next year it would be the western part Makes of the sense. state. Or maybe the third year it was like the central part of the sure. state. And it was like a fair system to where it wouldn't just stay at one place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you had to have a minimum, minimum 32 lanes. Prior to us building, you... Nobody had 32 lanes. Mm -hmm. We were the biggest at 28. And then when we went, jumped from 28 to 40, then that allowed Butler County to actually compete and try to win this tournament. Right. Okay. And what that meant to Butler County was roughly 9,000 bowlers back then, nine or 10,000 bowlers would come to the county. Wow. And it would be spread out over 11 weekends. That's great for the economy, too. Yes. Well, dollars and cents back then, um, it was basically $3 million. Wow. <laughs> and there, you know, Butler County has some pretty neat events, you know. You sure. Got the Jeep Festival, but that's like a week sure. or a weekend, okay? You have... You know, stuff out at the Moraine State mm -hmm, Park, mm -hmm. you have the fair, you have this. But it's not spread out over 11 weekends, yeah, okay? Yeah. You, you know, you can have a huge event that overwhelms the area. Mm -hmm. And you can't, you know, if you live there, you can't get a hotel, you can't get a hotel room. You can't get a... That's right. Uh, you can't get a, uh, a seat at a restaurant. It does kind of like dis okay. disrupt for a week and then, which it, it's okay. It brings money in, but like it kind of disrupts right. everything for but a week. See, and then just when leaves. you have 9,000, you're spreading them out. Sure, sure. Literally, we were filling, uh, back then, we were filling every hotel room wow, yeah. in the county for... 11 weekends in a row. Wow. Okay. So it, it brought a lot to the area. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it didn't overwhelm the area mm -hmm. uh, at one thing. And since then, you know, we've had the tournament um, a total of three times. Is it, is it still a yearly thing for, for the Pennsylvania? I've, I've never, yes. never even heard of this tournament. So yes. That's awesome. I mean, it's been around a long time. I'm not sure how many years it's been. But it, it's been around a long time. Is it tough to host? Well, to, to I mean, it, to it's, it's sort of like tough to win. Sure. The rights to hosting. We were scheduled to have it come to Butler County in 2021, mm. basically next year. Uh, what did happen uh, is uh, because of COVID, mm -hmm. the site that was supposed to have it this year, this is like the first time probably since maybe World War One, that they canceled the tournament. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And as a result, the uh, the location that was supposed to have it this year is now going to have it next Bumping year. It, yeah. So we've been bumped to 2022. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 